everybody. Today we'll be discussing on how to get started with your jewel bot. So let's begin. The first step to getting started is to plug in your jewel bot to your computer. You can use the USB cord that your drill bot comes with. The red charging light should come on if it's properly plugged into the USB. If it's fully charged, the light should be green. The next step to getting started is updating the firmware. Now to do so, you're going to need the Arduino IDE. In order to find the Arduino IDE, you're going to go to arduino.cc. Once there, you'll be going to the software tab and scrolling down to the download the Arduino IDE section of the website. Now for myself, I have a Windows computer, so I'm going to install the Windows version of Arduino. However, they do offer versions for Mac and Linux. Once I click the Windows installer, I'm going to be led to this page. In order to download it, you can, you can click just download. You're going to need to go to File, Preferences, and then search for the additional board manager URLs text box. Now, we're going to need to copy and paste two links into this section. To find those two links, you can go to jewelbots.com slash go. Scroll down to the how do I update my jewelbots firmware and then find step four, and it should be available to copy and paste. You go back to additional boards manager URLs and paste it in. Once you've done that, you can click OK. After doing that, the next step would be to go to Tool and then Board Manager. Find the search, the search box in the Boards Manager and type in J. The Jewelbot board should come up immediately. To get started in updating your firmware, look for the one that says Firmware Update and hit Install. Next to it should show the most recent version number of the firmware update board. Once you hit Install, it should take a couple of seconds to install the board. Once it's been installed, it should say installed next to it. While you're here, you might as well also start installing the Arduino library board, which we will be using later on. Now click close. Close the program and then click open it again. In order to select the board, you're going to go to Tools, Board, and then instead of scrolling the board's managers, you're going to scroll down and find the Jewelbots Firmware Update board and select it. Once selected, it will show up here in Tools again. The next step of doing this is going to select your port. On Windows, the port will say COM and then a number, whereas Mac, 
will look differently and so will Linux look differently. These versions can be found on the jewelboss.com slash go page. Upload button, we're going to have to put the jewelbot into upload mode. In order to do that, you're going to press this, the, the magic button for two seconds or more. And I've updated the firmware before so the lights have flashed purple. If you hadn't updated your firmware before, the red charging light will go off instead of showing purple light. Now that we have the jewelbot in upload mode, we're going to hit the upload button on the Arduino IDE. Your Arduino should show orange text popping up or blank spaces. Once finished, your jewelbot will start showing a rainbow animation and buzz. It'll also say device programmed at the bottom of your Arduino IDE. You can now unplug your jewelbot. To know that your firmware has been successfully updated, you can try pressing the magic button once. A red light in the, the corner, in the top left corner, should start flashing. Thank you for joining me in this tutorial on how to update your robot's firmware. For more information, check out the links below. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial.